Welcome to our first Go Moment of 2021. There's always a buzz when the new year comes. New plans, new ideas, new commitments, you know, for our weight or for what we're going to do or the books we're going to read or the things that we're going to accomplish. But when you're living the mission, it really doesn't matter what the year is. It really doesn't even sometimes matter what the day is. When you live the mission, it's what's happening right now and what is God saying for our lives? And so I wanted to bring a very special guest. He is one of our young adults. He's been coming here since the third grade, Josh Tawala Jr. Hey, Josh, come on out here. I want to introduce you to everybody. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, thank you for having me. I love So uh, when are you heading back to school? Uh, I head back this Friday because right. Mr. B needs some extra stuff for, from our worship team and our student leadership stuff, so. So you're involved in student leadership at uh, Valley Forge? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Uh, we, so student leadership involves anybody on the worship team and anybody on the media production team and anybody who's covering a team at all. Wow. Well, this guy, Josh, has been coming here since the third grade, we decided. And um, some of you might know his dad. He was overseeing the food distribution. But the interesting thing about that is Josh was right there every day. Actually, Josh and I and his dad, when we first started the food distribution, we were here every day, weren't we? Oh, we were organizing, was... sorting, making boxes. Yeah. And um, and you were just amazing support to your dad and you were part of that food drive every week Yeah. I, for this year. It, my thing, I love to surf. You know, Do you? I, God has put that in my heart ever since a little kid. Yeah. We, we would always be a serving family. Yeah. And I'm always willing to serve. Yeah. In any capacity. So, so um, the cool thing about Josh is he was also very involved in our student ministries. And so, you know, when I think of the year 2021, you know, we all kind of think about, we have kind of our dreams and our hopes yeah. and things like that. But there are some things that never change for our life. It doesn't matter what year it is. Actually, it doesn't sometimes even matter what day it is. It's just that we live the mission for the Lord. Yeah. Now, so when you were at Student Ministries over at the Edge, tell 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 us how you were involved. What what you did a lot of different stuff over there, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. So uh, my first time at the Edge, it was Pastor Chris talking to me about playing drums, okay. and he had he knew that I didn't know how to play, so he put me on a spot and I just played, and he he also asked me to be a part of the 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 student leadership, but to make sure like, you know, people people know that I'm there, yeah. especially for the younger kids in the edge. Yeah. And I know Pastor Chris has really poured into us and to a lot of my friends and a lot of everyone yeah. else. So, but being in student leadership at the edge, you know, consisted of going to meetings some Sundays a month, but also being available, just being able to serve mm -hmm. and that's, Again, I love serving in any capacity. How, how do you think, you know, you've been in college now for, you know, since the last fall. And um, tell, tell the people listening, as a young person, you know, what was the value of, of having a good student ministry? And how is that helping you as you step out of the comfort of home and, you know, being in the same church service every week? Like, ha, ha, did you see being in student ministries really help you, prepare you for college? And how do you see it affecting your future a little bit? It, it helped me a lot. Uh, yeah. Being able to, to identify with different kinds of people and yeah. being able to assist different kinds of people. But also, it, it helps you spiritually because mm -hmm. you begin to realize that, okay, you're not doing this for yourself, you're doing this for a greater purpose. Yeah. And even something little as talking to a little kid or someone who's younger than you saying, uh, you know, this this is what God wants you to do. This is yeah. what God is doing in your life. Mm -hmm. And even experiencing that myself and being mm -hmm. able to do that to other kids mm -hmm. is amazing. Yeah, that is so, so cool. So do you remember, so who, so when you were a little kid in children's church, you know, were you, did you, did you just love children's church too? I mean, you've been, you've been 
you know, grown through the ranks oh, here, yeah. so I, to speak. I loved it. You know, being Did in you? Craze was amazing. Yeah. Pastor Aaron, Miss yeah. Miss Robin, and yeah. uh, of course Miss Jen was yeah. amazing. You've been in music for everything, haven't oh, you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Even before we went here, you know, uh, since I was 18 months old, I've been playing drums. Is that right? That's so, what yeah. your dad did. He, he... my my dad yeah. was the was the percussionist at, yeah. at our other church. I so see. It, so After, it's always been there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Music has mm -hmm. always been in our bones. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yeah. It's I, I love music as well. You know, being able to do that in college and wanting to pursue that is yeah. amazing. Is that what you're pursuing at school? Yeah, music performance. Uh, I feel God is leading me to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, that I feel that is one of the the many servant gifts that God has yeah. let me have. Yeah. And allowed me to. Let do. me ask you, so so here you are at the edge, grown up in church. When did, would you say that you started really identifying with kind of hearing God for yourself, like about about your education, about you know, you know, all of us in living the mission, which just means all of us finding our purpose for what God has called us to do and serving the body of Christ. When did you sort of start start connecting with that for yourself, where like it was you and God, not just what Dad was doing or the rhythm of you know, just hey, come on, Josh. But like when you started really connecting with God, do you remember that first kind of moment? It was seventh grade, and this was our my first youth event. Okay. At the edge, we went to to youth convention. Okay. And it it's something about going to an event with other other teenagers, other people, yeah, and who have the same walk and the same mm -hmm. thought process of you. Mm -hmm. like you and it was geared toward it you. was geared towards that yeah. towards me and yeah i remember you know going going to to the stage and worshiping and mm -hmm. just crying as a seventh grader like what do i <laughs> what? What, why why is this happening <laughs> yeah and this was like my also my first worshiping moment for myself wow and that's beautiful it was it was amazing especially getting to experience that with my friends and being able to identify that was my first moment where I think God is leading me to do something bigger than myself wow. is, was definitely an amazing moment. It's seventh grade. Yeah. Did you hear that? <laughs> we as uh, living the mission here are so profoundly can impact our young people at a very young age about a call and about that personal experience where God is touching you. He's real yeah. and he's speaking to our lives. Wow. That is beautiful. So your takeaway from that. So when you got home from that event, wh where, what, what changed you about that then? What did you start doing anything different? Did you start getting more engaged after that I in did. music? What uh, did you do? Actually, I, I asked Joy when she was here about a small group that I knew of, and ah. I, I joined their small group, and it was it was amazing because then I started getting more into the Word, yeah. and started actually praying and started actually understanding what it means to be a servant, but mm -hmm. also to be a Christian. Yeah. Especially as a young kid. So would you say then that, you know, because I think a lot of challenges for young people your age is that churches become kind of a, uh, just a thing you do, yeah. like like going to the grocery store almost. This is what yeah. I do Sundays, I come, yeah. I go to church, I do my thing. But, but for you, you began to make that connection that it was a relationship with God. Yeah, having yeah. a relationship with God, especially being in the edge and being able to serve here, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's playing drums, whether it's student leadership, whether it's mm -hmm. helping out Miss Robin on Sundays or helping out Pastor Michael whenever he needs, it's it's definitely helped a lot. Yeah. And being able to say that I I'm here to serve mm -hmm. is just an amazing thing. You know, even yeah. with the food ministry, I've been with my dad since day I one. I know, right? And you sure being, have. Being yeah. able to see all of this. Mm -hmm. and, everything unfold, it's yeah. it's been amazing. Yeah. Well, we sure wish you the best. We're so excited. I loved, I love it when you're home. I love Ugh. seeing you play. He plays yeah. drums for our Sunday morning services too. And, you know, I'll be excited to see what God does for you in the thank days you. ahead. You thank got you, you. lots of great things coming down the pike. What do you see, do you, do you have any idea what you, what, where you kind of think you're going with all this? So for the first few years, uh, I want to be able to, to go on, on the road, like on yeah. tour yeah. and, maybe play for big time artists. Yeah. And, you know, after that, I want to be able to, not to, to teach in a school, but to be able to teach kids on how to play drums. How to play drums, yeah. yeah. All right, well, you, you heard it here today that Go Moments 
can happen at a very young age. That awakening to the power of God can happen at a very young age. And so I just want to encourage anyone watching today, anyone with, uh, you know, share this with a, a parents that you may know, share this with other young adults, because sometimes people just don't understand how powerful um, um, our youth ministries and our children's ministries can be in a young person's life. And, and then they grow up and they begin to, you know, uh, communicate the gospel and it just goes out to others. And, um, our church grows and it becomes healthier. So thanks again, Josh. We uh, love you. Thank you thanks for, for all me. you do. And God bless you. Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you next week.